So we're going over the margin of safety in this tutorial, and it's heavily connected to the break-even point, as you'll see. On the right-hand side, I've got this timeline, which represents a sales revenue line. So the, the further we move along this line, the more sales revenue we have. And I've got two sections that are highlighted. The first, this line right here, is supposed to represent our break-even Point. So at that level of sales revenue, we've actually achieved our break even. As for the cyan or the kind of the neon blue line, that's going to be our, our planned sales revenue. And, and the, the cushion between our planned sales revenue and our break even point is going to be known as our margin of safety which is the basis of this tutorial so it's really just like a cushion it's protecting us before we actually begin to go into lost territory and I just have a quick definition here just to summarize that so margin of safety is the planned unit sales less the break-even unit sales and of course it can be in units or in dollars and it shows the margin or the cushion of sales before we fall below the break-even point and losses begin just like I said so I'm just going to quickly uh, go over one last thing this is a pretty quick tutorial I'm just gonna actually shrink this down and put the cushion right there since it technically the cushion belongs in the margin of safety since it's our cushion space um, as for the margin of safety, in the last, or maybe not the last tutorial, but two tutorials ago, uh, we were talking about break-even points for a airline. I think it was called Jet Eye Airlines, and our break-even point, break-even point, was 100, 100,000 flights. And just for this example, I'm just going to say that our planned is 150,000. So it's very simple. It's just going to be planned, subtract the break even point, unit sales, and our margin of safety in units is going to be 50,000 units. So that is our margin of safety. I'm just going to highlight it. And of course, you can also express this in a dollar form. You can say 50,000 units and in the example that I provided it was actually three hundred dollars a flight which is relatively cheap flight so we can just multiply fifty thousand units by three hundred dollars a flight and our margin of safety in dollar form is going to be fifteen million dollars so we can lose fifteen million dollars of sales before we actually begin to uh, fall into that loss territory. And in this case, I just use the difference times uh, the, the revenue per unit. You could also just do exactly what we did up here, but say 150,000 times 300 minus 100,000 times 300, and that yields the same result it's just a little bit it's an extra step so I usually just like to use the difference so that's basically the end of our margin of safety tutorial I'm gonna be talking about break-evens and product mixes in the next one so I'll see you guys then if you have any questions regarding accounting or any of the material within our videos you can tweet us at note pirate you can like us on Facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped and like always thanks for watching us on YouTube